Mundlack approach when panel data include time-fixed effects. What would happen when, starting from a panel data model with group-fixed effects. And time-fixed effects I apply the Mundlack approach. This is the model. Dollar y underscore i t equals c plus beta x underscore i t plus alpha underscore i plus delta underscore two b two underscore t plus delta underscore three b three underscore t plus delta underscore t b t underscore t plus epsilon underscore i t dollar where dollar b underscore t dollar are time dummies time fixed effects. Should I also include the sample averages for each dollar b underscore t dollar so that the equation becomes dollar y underscore i t equals c plus beta x underscore i t plus gamma bar x underscore i plus delta underscore 2 b 2 underscore t plus delta underscore 3 b 3 underscore t plus delta underscore t b t underscore t plus tilde delta underscore 2 bar b 2 plus tilde delta underscore 3 bar b 3 plus plus tilde delta t bar b t plus new i t dollar WHER dollar bar bullet dollar denotes the sample average computed over each panel for variable dollar bullet dollar. If the panel data set is balanced, the averages will cause perfect collinearity and will all be dropped. So you lose nothing. If it is unbalanced, the averages of the time dummies will explain some aspects of the structure of the data set. For example, let t equals 3 so we have two dummies. B2 bars I is 1 T I if observed at T equals 2, and 0 otherwise. Similarly, B3 bars I depends on whether T equals 3 is observed and on T I. So, I think the individual averages of the time dummies control for heterogeneity due to the period effects and data structure heterogeneity. I personally believe that it is safe to include those BD bar I terms. But there may be more fundamental issues involved in this unbalanced case as it relates to modeling selectivity.